Hello my pupilos and welcome to a new Spanish lesson with me, Sebas. Today, after a long time, we'll continue with the grammar videos. Yes, I know that grammar might be boring sometimes, but it's something that we need to learn, so please be patient. Well, let's talk about our topic. Today, we'll talk about the qualifying adjectives or adjetivos calificativos, as we call in Spanish, and some of the rules we use for them. But first, do we know what an adjective is? It's very simple. It's every word that modifies or qualifies the nouns. By the way, if you haven't seen my video of the noun, you could watch it in the link up there. And in Spanish, we have many kinds of adjectives. For example, adjetivos calificativos, determinativos, demostrativos, posesivos, exclamativos, interrogativos, entre otros. And as I said before, now we will learn everything we need to know about the adjetivos calificativos. So, as its name say, there are the adjectives that qualify the nouns. For example, grande, alto, bajo, pequeño, gordo, flaco, etc. And what do we need to know about the adjetivos calificativos? Basically, three things. Determination, the position in the sentence, and the comparison rules. In this video, we will learn about the two first statements. The third one is going to be made in another video. As you probably guess it, in Spanish, the adjective termination fits with the gender and the number of the noun. And I assume that you already know everything about the rules of the gender and the number of the nouns because you have already seen my videos of the lesson 3 and 6 from the grammar series. If not, you could click up there. So let's see an example to clarify this. El gato pequeño, the small cat, el gato pequeño, the small cat. As you see, gato is a masculine noun in the singular form, so the adjective pequeño must also be in the masculine and singular form. Now, if we want to talk about a female cat, we would say la gata pequeña, la gata pequeña. As you see, the adjective pequeña is now turned into its feminine form. Now, I want to hear you. If we want to say the feminine small cats, we would say, you're right. It would be las gatas pequeñas. Las gatas pequeñas. Now, we must know that the adjectives that have a gender variation are those which have a termination in the vowel O or A. For the adjectives with another termination, there wouldn't be a gender variation. For example, we would say, el gato fuerte, la gata fuerte, or el gato veloz, la gata veloz, el gato torpe, la gata torpe. Well, I would have to say that about the adjective position in Spanish, we made the things upside down in comparison to English. Yes, in Spanish, the adjectives go usually after the noun. We could take the last example, el gato pequeño. Now, it is not grammatically incorrect if we say el pequeño gato, but in this case, we only use it to emphasize the qualification we are giving to the noun. Another important fact is that there are some adjectives that their sense may change according to the position we give it to them. For example, if we want to say mi antiguo colegio, in this case, antiguo would mean last, but if we say, mi colegio antiguo, in this case, antiguo would mean old. Y bueno, mis queridos pupilos, esto es todo por hoy. If you have any question, opinion, or recommendation, please go ahead and leave your comment below. And if you like this video, thumb up and subscribe to my channel. Soy Sebas y hasta la próxima.